Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to the farm. So the uh, it has been raining all night long, like properly raining. Uh, so yeah, uh, it's everything is wet. The bales that we didn't manage to to wrap yesterday are going to be just rotting away. So the first thing we're going to do this morning is to get rid of them, and then. And then we've got quite a few jobs planned for today. Hello, Pooch. So yeah, as I was saying, we've got quite a few um, quite a few jobs planned for today. We've got to get rid of the um, get rid of those bales. Then we've our harvester is coming back to us, so we've just got to meet them over at the other yard um, and sort that out. And then. Uh, I've I've already rang and spoke to Isaac at the dealership, and that I have I've purchased a um, a wrapped bale fork or pickup or whatever you call it, one of the hydraulic ones that um, closes in and, and picks up the bale. So we're going to go and pick that up as well. Uh, first things first, though, we need the Massey Ferguson, which I haven't used in a little while, and I can't remember where I left. Do I put it in here? Nope, that's the cultivator and the hay bales. I must have put it over here. Nope. Oh, I know where it is. Yes. Yep, I remember. I left it at the other field, didn't I? Well, that's inconvenient. So. Uh, let's take the deuce far over to the other field. And then we'll uh, pick up the Massey. So, uh, I've been thinking about the rest of this field. Now, we've got so many bales off of this uh, first field that I'm, I'm not going to cut the rest just yet. Um, we've probably got a couple of months still that I can cut it if we need to before winter uh, but it's it's not urgent we've got quite a lot of bales and it is extra work that I probably probably don't need at the minute especially if I want to get some winter crops in after dividing up our, our field uh, so this so it's yeah it's gonna be going to be very busy anyway. Oh look, oh, our, our seeded patch is, is starting to grow nicely. There she is. So, once we've got those um, those grass bales out of the way. Uh, Isaac said our, our harvester should be coming back fairly fairly early this morning, so we should have time to get those grass bales sorted and and gone before they rot, and we can't pick them up. Then we'll come back here and sort out the harvester. Uh, then we'll go and pick up our new bale fork and we'll put the um the, we'll start picking up the silage bales probably gonna be renting a, a larger bale trailer as well we'll see what they've got at some point i'm gonna need to upgrade my front loader tractor i think because this although it's wonderful it's quite small and it can't handle as much as a bigger one would. Now I, I do love this tractor. I do I, I do love the tractor and it might be that we keep it but I, I do need something bigger. We'll, we'll have to see how the uh, how much we get from the silage obviously I know that uh, the, the economy is, is struggling at the minute so it's, it's going to be a bit difficult but Right, what do we do with all these grass bales? I'm going to have to put them somewhere to rot down, I think. 
Right. I'm going to get on with this. And then... Um, yep. We'll have to... Uh, crack on with all the other jobs we've got today. Okay, so that's all the soppy wet grass bales sorted. Actually, it turns out that the cows quite like munching on it. So I have I've, I've put it all in the cow field so they can help themselves. At, at least that way it hasn't gone to waste as well. Um, so the good news is that the dealership uh, can bring down my new bale, uh, bale pickup at the same, same time as delivering the... Um, delivering the uh, what do you call it my words are escaping me today delivering the harvester back and um, the other good news is that we're already on the way with the harvester so that means that we should we'll go back to the other field we'll wait for them to arrive and um, yeah uh, swap the harvesters over and then we can concentrate with, uh, on clearing our field. I do need to take the rower back, however, uh, and I need to rent a bigger bale trailer. But that means that we at least we can go down in the deuce far, so which is a faster tractor. Anyway, we'll get the harvester sorted first, and then we will, and then we will deal with the. Uh, Bales. Okay, so here we are. Here's our new bale, bale grab. We should, take, we should um, we'll get that off first with the Massey Ferguson, and then we'll tackle the harvester. See if this is going to be easy. There we go. Attach those lines. Oh yes, look at that. That's brilliant. Put this back out the way over here for now. Leave that bay free for our harvester, I think. So, up over. There we go. Right, let's see if this is any better than it was. Oh, started, no problem. So, so far, so good. This 
it feels a lot smoother. I think they've done some pretty good work on it. Oh uh, yeah, no cutting out so far. Now obviously I won't want the harvester here, I want it at the other farm, uh, the cow farm, because that's where we're going to be doing our harvest. Uh, move it over slightly I think. But yeah, uh, but for now it can stay here because that's not going to be until next year. Right. There we go. It could stay there. Lovely to have that back on the farm. Even though we haven't had it long. <laughs> right, let's get... Get this loaded onto the trailer for him. This was a really good harvester. I'm going to miss not having this one. Turn this round and make it a bit easier. Right then, straight up then, I guess. That'll do nicely. All right, chap, you're all good to go. Thank you very much. Right, sad to see it go, but. Nevertheless, it's gone. Um, now, I have to get this back over to the other field. Just so I can pick up the bales. But I also need... That. Uh, and I need to take the... Take the row back to the shop. Pick up a rental trailer. So that's going to involve a bit of walking and a bit of shuffling. So I will, I won't film it. We'll cut, cut the camera, and we'll keep all them. Um, I'll see you when I've sorted it out. Right, I've dropped off the, uh, I've dropped off the row. This is the bale trailer that we'll be um, renting. Oh, I spoke to Isaac earlier, he said he had it in, so that's good. Um, is that a new tractor? Well, not new, but old new. It's just a 3115. That looks nice. And it's got a front load of attacher. God, I was just talking about this earlier when upgrading that tractor, and now this has just popped up. Hey, uh, I can't, I can't dream about that. I haven't got the money for that. Anyway, I'm gonna go talk to Isaac, and we'll get that. The um, that's a nice truck, isn't it? God, there's all these things that I want, but I can't have because there's too much money. 
Anyway, uh, I'll go get the payment sorted for the for the trailer, and then we'll go get all the bales cleared up off the field. Right, fifty pounds. That's how much it is to rent a trailer. It's a fairly old trailer, so it's nothing special. Fifty pounds for the day to get the bales all cleared up. Let's hook up, and we'll get back and get the job done. Maybe an old trailer, but it's a nice one. Looks like a good one. Made how they used to. Anyway, we'll get this back. We'll get the bales cleared up. And... Probably do a run or two up to the biogas plant. Is it then last one for this load there's a lot more than I actually thought there was uh, it's going to be quite a few loads which is good which is good uh, but it's also going to take more time especially if things like that happen right I'll get that tidied up and back on uh, and then we'll uh, uh, they're, obviously they're all still fermenting at the minute so we'll have to just store them in the um, in the silage bit until we uh, until we can take them to the biogas plant anyway I'll sort this out stacking although it has taken quite a long time and uh, and it's only the first load still I'm quite impressed with that Anyway, it is now time to go get the second load uh, after a spot of lunch. I'm not making the same mistake as yesterday, getting to have lunch. So I'm going to sit on the sit on the trailer here and eat my sandwich, and then uh, then we'll crack on. All right, there we go. Nice 20 minute break to have my sandwich, cool down a little bit in the shade, and. Uh, now it's time to get on with the rest of it.
So I don't think that's bad at all. Uh, it's been a long afternoon getting everything that picked up, but we've got well, three full, three full rows, a nearly full row, and a trailer full. Now I'm going to leave this on the trailer. Obviously, it's going to take a couple of days to uh, to ferment. I've already spoken to I've spoken to Isaac. He said, "Yep, it's just fifty pounds a day for the trailer." So I'm going to I'm going to give him a hundred pounds. And, um, and and we'll hang on to this trailer. Obviously, it does mean that we cannot use this tractor until we've got rid of them. Because if, as soon as we take it off the tractor, that's going to fall to the floor. There's going to be no way at all of picking it up again. So that tractor is now currently parked up until these are fermented. This one, on the other hand, is useful. And I'm going to need to go now because I've also spoken to Isaac about using the animal trailer. And the cows are horny. The cows are horny. So, I'm going to go now. I'm going to get the animal trailer. It's a bit late, but I've spoken to the um, I've spoken to the animal dealership. Uh, they're open late tonight, so that's absolutely fine. We're going to go. Off. First of all, we're going to take off the front loader and the, the back weight. Then we're going to go pick up the animal trailer. Go to the, the dealership. I don't have to take the animal trailer back until tomorrow morning. So that's a, a bonus. Um, but yes, we've got a bit of running around we need to do tonight. Now this has started giving me problems. Brilliant. Right, let's go get ourselves a bolt. Right, I've just paid Isaac for the use of the animal trailer and the extended use of the uh, bale trailer. I've also just realised that I haven't paid off the, the or made a payment on the loan this month. So I've just paid that as well. They're doing some work out the back there. They're banging around. Anyway, right, let's go get ourselves a bull. There he is. There's Bruce. Hi, right, Brucey. He's he's ready to go. He's keen. All right, let's get all this closed up, and we'll get back to the farm. All right, here we are back at the farm. Let's get some let's get some lights on. Let's see what we're doing there. Okay. Good if we had an outside light here. Right, let's get this gate open. Back up, we'll back Brucey up. Deep with this, I might be forced to get upgrade my tractor sooner than I thought. Right, let's get Brucey in here. He's gone. Very excited by the prospect of impregnating all the women. That's good then. Right. I'm going to leave the um, leave the vlog there. So thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you again soon. Bye for now. A new home for a while, let me feel alive.
nothing to hold me back. Take my time, just enjoy the ride.